Hello, welcome to the next part of the tutorial. Today we will create this thing. I couldn't find any nice picture of this, so it wouldn't be in 100% like real. So, okay, let's start. From box. Okay, now set up pivot in center move it to zero and scale wait a second okay something like that now go to utilities, reset x form, reset selected and convert it to poly we do this because maybe I will show you on scene there when we scale object and now I want to add support edge You can see that distance between two edges uh, is shorter than this. So when we use X form, now the distance is the same. Okay, so now add some edge in middle okay now two edges here move this up Okay, one more. Here now at mm, once we can delete. Press Alt I Alt Q to isolate. We can delete this. Okay, now add turbo smooth. Now go to edit poly mm, and turn on show end result on off. Now we can move vertex and we see how it will look with turbo smooth. Okay, I think something like that will be okay. Now add edit poly modifier. Now we can remove some edges like this, this. Okay. Okay, now create sphere. Move it to zero. Mm, 
maybe scale it up okay now Mm, change number of segments. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Twenty. Convert data poly. Select these polygons and delete. Now select this and flip now scale it down okay we can delete this polygons okay now Move this here. Okay, now use cut to press snap S for snap. Mm, sorry, select this and use cut okay now can delete this now with snapping move this to here okay now mm, okay now we can copy that select this and turn on snap use quick slice mm, when you have edit poly modifier you need to click here because s doesn't work Okay. Now this we can delete. Select this and attach this. Now select all this vertex and weld. Maybe we will move this little down hmm. okay select all vertex in top and use line Z, okay. Mm, we have some. Press backspace to remove if you have vertex like me. Okay, now. So 
select all these and weld okay now that sounds for that Okay, now to the smooth. Hmm. Okay. Now. Hide this for a second need to cut this so we'll create spline for a second okay now mm, add edit foggy again Select mm. maybe first move this vertex lid down. Okay. Okay, try. Use this edge. Mm, select all this vertex. Okay, now. Select these polygons, use quick slice, snap from here to here. Okay, now we can delete this and delete all these polygons. can also remove this edge okay now I need to add this mm, I will use some picture with actually not picture I found in Google mm, 
how the rail shoot looks. I need this part, so I cut this before. Okay, so I will create plane. Okay, now move build on this line. Okay, and move this picture to zero. Okay, now let me scale it. Okay, something like that. Okay, now now. Mm. Select this polygons light. Okay, now maybe we'll delight everything on this side. Mm. Wait a second. Mm. Okay, so use quick slice, and we need to add. Okay, fly it now. Select this polygon, use quick slice. Okay, and we can delete all these polygons. Okay. Now use cut and add some edge here and like this. Now align this. And delete this. Now we need to move this a little right, so select all this vertex and move it. Okay, and
Okay, now now mm, I think again well this and remove this and this okay now select this and just press shift and drag no, align it. Okay, move here. Now select this. Okay, create one more here and weld with this. Hmm. I I had some vertex here. Remove them. Okay. Okay, now can select this, this bridge. Okay, mm, we need to move this here. Okay, now create one more. And move it here. Okay, now select these edges and bridge. Hmm. Add some edge at middle and weld this. And we have some vertex. Okay, so we can control A and weld. Okay. Now we can cap this. Okay. Now select these edges and reach. Okay, bridge this. Now 
grab this and this now we just cut to Okay, now we can connect this. Okay, select these polygons, use extrude and move it to zero. Now delete. Mm, okay. Now we need to add some support edge. So add some edge here. Okay. Now select these polygons. This okay, this now use insert. Yeah, something is wrong. Okay, so I'll select this. Mm. And this. Okay, now use cut to. Okay, weld this, this, no, use cut again, Okay. Now we can weld this and this. Now we will add some edge here. Well, this. Okay, now here. Okay. Select this and collapse. Okay, now we can weld this, this, collapse. Okay. 
No. Need to add some edge. Mm. Unselect this. Okay, and add edge. Okay. <coughs> now we can use cut from here to here. Can weld this. This we can remove. Okay. Now need to one edge here. Okay. Now mm, here we can. Well, this okay, and remove this. Mm. Okay, now need to add edges here. Oh, so we need to connect this. Okay. Okay, no, don't clap this because here and here we will use chamfer. Okay, and well, this vertex. We can use collapse here. And because Maybe I'll 
not okay one edge here okay and Add some edge here. Now from here to here, select this and just and connect. We can use cut. Okay. Add some um, select this vertex and add symmetry mm, select this vertex align it ok I know the, the here should be a hole, like here, but as I said, I couldn't find picture, and I don't know how it looks like here. Okay, so. This is end of this part. Thanks for watching and see you in the next part.